Till now, I am still shocked. Same here. I mean, I didn't expect Cynthia to go that far. Ever since I knew her, I have always considered Brenda to be her sister. Cynthia is the complete example of a green snake in a green grass. I couldn't believe my ears when Brenda called to report to me this morning. I'm still shocked to this moment. What could have made Cynthia go for Brenda's husband? How could she do that to her best friend? I don't know what to do, bro. I don't want to marry Cynthia anymore. She has done her worst, but I don't want to divorce her. So what do you intend to do? You have to go to her family and collect the diary you paid to marry her. Do you want her to marry Brenda's husband while she's still married to you? This is the biggest abomination. I have to see Andrew. Obviously, Cynthia and Andrew has no shame. They have no shame at all. This will be the first time I am thanking you for saving me from marrying Cynthia. Thank you very much, bro. I don't know how I would have coped with all this. Please, I would like you to come with me. I don't want to marry her anymore. If Andrew is serious, he can come with me to see her people. I'll collect back the dowry while he pays it. I would advise you, don't tangle yourself with him. Since he wants to marry her, let him go alone. But you can go and talk to him. No problem. I want to be left alone. I cannot leave you alone anymore. Why are you doing this to yourself? Will she give you a love portion or what? I said I want to be left alone, Joanna. I'm not ready to see you or my mother. Please leave my room. I will not leave your room, John. I'm tired of all this. Why are you acting like a child? I'm the first to be heartbroken. You have no idea how I am feeling. That is why you are saying this. I love Mercy so much and I still do. I realize she blocked me everywhere. Do you know how that feels? I don't want to know how it feels because she's not the only woman on earth. Is she more beautiful than me? Why are you wasting your time? There are thousands of ladies out there. You can choose one. Mercy is more than 10 times of ladies. She's one in a million. I don't think I can ever love another person the way I love her. I don't like seeing you this way. You have refused to eat because you are heartbroken. You have no idea what you are doing to yourself. If starving myself will bring her back into my life, then I will do it. You should probably commit suicide for her. She said so many horrible things to you, yet you still love her. Yes, I still love her. Please, if you don't mind, leave me alone. Your food is on the dining table. When you're hungry, you can come eat. So David, you are welcome to my house. This is actually the second time you are here. I didn't expect to see you soon. Really? You didn't expect to see me soon when my wife is in your house? Your wife is in my house because she wants to. I didn't force her to be here. So what can I do for you? I wonder how you are able to do this. To do what? I am also wondering if you are doing this with your clear eyes. Because I don't understand how a lame man like you would propose to a married woman. Did I force her? You should be ashamed of yourself for saying that. What would make you fall for your wife's best friend? Now I see. So Brenda called you to come to my house and confront me. You and I know you don't love Cynthia anymore. You don't want her in your life. It is none of your business if I still love her or not. The fact is that I am still married to her. And the main point is that she is your wife's best friend. Don't let it bother you. It is my cross. I will carry it. Exactly. It is your cross and you will carry it. I came to tell you that you are the most selfish person I have ever seen. You don't deserve such a good woman like Brenda. <laughs> what exactly are you here for? You can keep Cynthia. Tell her not to return to my house anymore. So you are here. I am sure you know that your husband is in the sitting room with Andrew. You mean David is in the sitting room with my husband? Cynthia, I guess you don't realize what you're doing. Return back to your husband and continue with your marriage. I will never leave Andrew. I'm in love with him. Don't forget, we will visit my family next week. So, it is too late, my darling. I feel so ashamed. It is still like a dream to me. I can't still believe that you of all people would do this to me. My dear, you have to believe it. Guess what? Andrew ordered a car for me. The car will arrive in a week time. I feel so happy. I have been with Andrew for years. He has never thought of getting me anything close to that. But now he wants to buy you a car. That is the difference between us, my dear. Obviously, Andrew doesn't love you anymore. Please move on with your life and leave us alone. I just came back from the market. I realized my properties are no longer in my room. Where are they? You were not informed. I moved your things to the boys' quarters. You won't be staying in this main building with us, especially when we are married. 
Are you out of your mind? You moved my things to where? You heard me right, Brenda. Please excuse me. You know Andrew will not be happy to see you in this room. He may beat you up again like the last time. How could you move my things to the boys' quarters? I packed my things out from this room I used to share with Andrew. I moved into a different room. Why would you take my things to the boys' quarters? Because that is where you deserve to be. God will judge you. you resigned from your job is it because of the 20 million naira don't tell me you want to start spending the money of course i do if i continue working how do i achieve what i want this is the right time for me to quit you mean to start the business you intended yes i have learned so much about the company i work for i have strategized everything and i'm sure i'll be able to do it so you want to start a new company for yourself and run the same business like them Yes, I have so much idea on how to do it. With that amount of money, it will not be hard to set up. Okay, that means I have to quit my job as well. I want to support you. If possible, I work for you. That would be wonderful. You'll be my PA. If we do it together, it will be easier for me to stand on my feet fast enough. So what about John? Have you heard from him? No, I haven't. I blocked him from calling me. I don't know how he's coping with others and I'm worried. What about you? Are you fine? No, I'm not fine. I have been turning on the bird till daybreak. I haven't been able to sleep for some nights now. I am sorry. It's all my fault. I've caused him so much pain. Stop blaming yourself, dear. Everything happens for a reason. Joshua, it is so good to see you. How have you been? And how did you get my number? You don't look so good to me, but I'm glad you are here. Thank you very much. I am sure you must have heard what happened to me, and I am sure that is why you called me. Yes, David told me everything, and I must confess, I am really disappointed in Cynthia. I didn't expect her to do such a thing to you. It is fine. I cannot blame her. I blame greed and myself for trusting her. I am hurt because I didn't expect her to do something like that to me. So what are your plans? What are you doing to keep you busy? Do you have a handwork or what? I don't have anything doing. It is really hard for me because I depend on Andrew. Sometimes he doesn't give to me, but I try as much as possible to not ask him for anything. I'm really sorry for what you are going through. It's okay. Although I am broken, I don't want to show them my weakness. I stopped crying in front of them. You have to be strong, Brenda. I know what you are going through is really difficult, but trust me, you'll get through this. Thank you so much, Joshua. I've decided to give you a sum of 2 million naira to start up a business for yourself. 2 million? Why? I don't have a reason. I feel sad for what is happening to you. You're a good person, Brenda, and you don't deserve all the things they are doing to you. Wow, thank you so much, Joshua. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. My love, you don't look so happy. What's the problem? Don't you like the color of car I got you? I do. I mean, the car is beautiful. But babe, don't you think it's time Brenda leaves this house? She no longer stays with us. She stays at the boys' quarter. Is she disturbing you? I don't like the way she treats me in this house. She makes me feel like I'm not wanted here. You are even more wanted than she is. You have no idea how much I love you, Cynthia. I don't know why this feeling did not come back then. Maybe it's because you choose to look at just Brenda and when you decided to explore, you realize you actually have feelings for me. You are right. I used to see her as God sent, not on she slept with my boss. It's one thing I can never forget. She messed up her body. I don't even know what she saw in her in the first place. You should hear the things she said about you when we were still friends. I'm glad I fell in love with you. Ever since you came into my life, I have smiled more often. You have made me really happy. I can't wait to take you to my parents. I'm sure they will like you too. Are you sure about that? I mean, considering the fact that you are still married to David. Who cares about David? My parents are really supportive. They know David is not capable of taking care of me. They will approve your relationship. I'm glad to hear that. I can't wait to meet them.